Hi, and welcome to our, the newest series that uh, Nacho Forte podcast is just now starting. It's going to be titled In the Practice Room. Uh, we're going to interview a student, a uh, music ed student weekly, to just kind of ask them a few questions about advice they'd give, why they're music ed, and just uh, various other kind of questions that uh, we'll go through. And, and we're going to just try to get to know a few people. All right. Um, today we have uh, Sydney. Uh, would you like to tell us a little bit about yourself, Sydney? Yeah, so my name is Sydney Davidson. I'm a senior in music education, um, and I, when I graduate, I'd like to teach elementary general music. That's more so my emphasis, but I also have an emphasis in instrumental um, music. Um, I'm in the marching band here. I play the flute. I'm in the orchestra, um, so I'm involved in many different things here, so... That's always tons of fun to try to just be involved in as many musical things as you can. Yeah. <laughs> um, so kind of starting off, uh, why did you choose to be music ed? Um, I guess I chose to be music ed because I, I knew I always wanted to be a teacher. Well, I guess I, I knew I always wanted to be something that helps people, something that serves the community or serves the world or anything like that. So I decided I wanted to be a teacher um, because of all of the different teachers I had in high school just really inspired me. I had a really great... Um, uh, faculty in high school, but I guess I just so happened to excel in music, so I decided I wanted to teach music. Um, a lot of people think that they want to teach music because they love music so much, and I do love music so much, um, but I think I chose teaching music because I just knew I wanted to be a teacher, and I just so happened to excel in music. Music so. was just the avenue in which you mm -hmm. knew you could you could take. Yeah. Um, you, you mentioned uh, teachers who inspire. Is there any teacher specifically that you could think of that inspired you, and, and what did they do to do that? Oh, my goodness. Um, I guess I would say probably my choir teacher in high school, Mrs. Holford. Um, she was really awesome because she would always try to make like a personal connection with her students. Um, she was also a really big mentor for me, um, just with music education in general, like getting me introduced to that sort of idea. She's the one that introduced me to Soulfed. She's the one that introduced me to resources online, like IMSLP. Soulfed is yeah. very important. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> um, and uh, she's the one that got me hooked up with uh, auditioning here at K State and things like that. So just thank you, Mrs. Halford. You're awesome. <laughs> so. Uh, any professors in college that you have found have been extremely helpful? Oh my gosh. Um, yes. <laughs> All of them, though. Uh, I mean, yes. But uh, the my flute teacher I had the first two years, um, Dr. Large, she was, she was awesome. She really got me kick-started on um, becoming such a mature and confident flute player. Um, just, I didn't have very many flute fundamentals before I came here. I didn't take lessons or anything like that. So, um, which by the way, do that. Um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, no. If, you, if you can do that. Um, but no, she, she understood that and she took me under her wing and, and she was just awesome. And she supported me every way possible emotionally. Um, you know, just, and she, showed me all of these resources and things like that so she was great um also our new flute teacher uh, dr colleen white she's also really amazing um she's already kick-starting off the year with showing us amazing resources getting us connected with people um and so yeah it is great and also you know dr gurgle dr Payne, my mentors for research um yeah, oh my gosh um Professor Dirks, uh, Dr. Trace, literally everybody. Lots, lots, yeah. of, lots of teachers. You, you, you'll find a, any music faculty, for the most part, are going to be absolutely phenomenal people. Yeah, I'm and, absolutely not worried at all with uh, finding a job after I graduate college um, because I know that, that all my mentors here are going to be there for me and are really going to support me and try to... So you mentioned you mentioned me research. Have you done any research or anything? I have. Um, Tell us about I, it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> let me. Okay. So it was last year. I was involved in a research project with uh, five other uh, peers through the um, School of Arts and Sciences. Um, one person that was involved in it was involved in the School of um, Education and um, the College of Education, and so we basically the whole thing around it it's kind of hard to say in one sentence but um we were trying to find out how to um change certain things about uh the kansas city kansas publics well we use them as our 
as our testing subject. And we went and visited there and we were um, seeing how we partners with, we also partnered with the the school of architecture. And so we um, tried to see how we can change the pedagogy of like how they're learning and how we can change um, the environment. So the, Oh, that's ceilings really cool. and things like that to help them to, to assist them in their learning does that make sense yeah that, okay, that, that, awesome. that, 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 make, <laughs> yeah. that makes sense yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, which is so really, really that, cool that you're able to uh, participate in something like that as a student oh absolutely and then you know it was it was awesome and dr gurgle and dr Payne were awesome with it and i learned so much and um it was just great to have an opportunity to to advocate for the, advocate the, for music for and benefiting and, the kids and the that public is, and, and you know what, and i'm still in college so yeah yeah um so you're, you're a senior now and you, you've taken kind of a lot a lot of classes and stuff like that what, what what's a class that you really enjoyed taking Ooh, um me personally i really liked music theory classes um just because i don't think i had very much of that um, like fundamentally in high school or anything like that. So learning about that, learning the reason behind the music was really interesting to me. Um, also I took a music of the world class my freshman year and that was really interesting because I got to learn about, um, instruments from the far past and like instruments, you know, that other countries use right now Mm -hmm. that I didn't even know existed. So yeah, those are be the two, I think. Now on the other end of the spectrum, what, what's a class that you struggled with and how did you overcome that? (laughs) Music theory, (laughs) (laughs) music theory, um, uh, oral skills was also a a big thing that I struggled with. And I think the biggest, uh, resources that resource that I used to get through that was tutoring, um, you know, through NAFME or through, anything like uh, any of the organizations here, Tau Beta, uh, Kappa, anything like that. Also, um, oh, just like uh, talking with my peers about it and just like, and also my professors are, I mean, it's a given that they're going to be super helpful. Mm -hmm. And and, and so this campus and this community, especially the School of Music Theory and Dance, like it's very... um, open and you don't feel like you're just another number in every class you know you, you it you don't feel alone and everything so okay yeah. so i have one final question for you or you're getting you're getting closer and closer to graduating which is always super fun a little terrifying i'm in the same situation but like thinking back to freshman year you as you first came out of this campus mm. Um, not quite knowing what to expect. What what's some advice that you would uh, give yourself as a freshman on like how to do this thing? Hey, that's music education in college. Yeah. So, oh my gosh, a lot of things. I think <laughs> <laughs> I think that one of the biggest things I would say is um, utilize your peers, utilize your mentors, utilize the resources that are given to you, whether it be through the music office, whether it be through your lessons teacher, through the union, through the, you know, um, the center for student involvement, anything like that, like all of those resources are so important to take advantage of, um, to look into, um, uh, just don't procrastinate, (laughs) have good time management, um, and get involved in as many things as you can because before you know it, it's going to fly by. And That's you, you want to sponge up and take up all that you can mm-hmm. before you leave. So, yeah. Well, Sydney, thank you very much for being the first interview here on our new series uh, in the practice room. Welcome. Um, Thanks for having me. Be sure to uh, check weekly on, on YouTube uh, for the series. And don't forget about also checking out our podcast uh, with Dr. Payne, uh, Not Your Forte. You can find us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, um, Google Podcasts, pretty much anywhere you can listen to this uh, podcast. Be sure to le- leave a comment uh, if you want to see anything we talked about or you want to be our, uh, one of the people getting interviewed uh, in this series. Just shoot an uh, email to notyourfortepodcast at gmail.com. But other than that, thank you for uh, listening. Go so- Cats. <laughs>